Coach, between the first half and then the third quarter there, what kind of just changed in, in your eyes? Um, yeah, the third quarter was a disaster. Um, you know, I thought that we competed pretty well in the first half, even though we made some critical mistakes and turned the ball over more than we should have and missed some easy layups. Um, but the third quarter, you know, we can't come out and turn the basketball over immediately. Um, you know, I just think we had a complete meltdown um, and didn't have enough about us to, you know, to, to stop the bleeding, if you will. Coach, how much does West Virginia's scout translate to real life? Like when you're watching them, their tape, and it, obviously it's very aggressive, but is it the same as what you expect, a little less, maybe more aggressive? Um, I think it is aggressive, yeah, for sure, and you can tell that it's aggressive. I mean, we've played against Quinterly for, what, this is our third year now, and she's a fantastic basketball player and, and really, really great. She's an elite defender. You know, she gets her hands on everything. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we knew that it was going to be difficult. We obviously spent a lot of time with the press break, and, and at times, you know, when we followed it, we we scored on the end of it, and it looked really good, and then there's times that we just lost our mind and, and panicked a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's very true to scout that, um, you know, clearly if you don't take care of the basketball, they get a lot of easy opportunities at the basket, and they, they get a lot of extra possessions because of it. In a similar vein, you and Mark have now coached against each other, I think, seven times in your careers at various levels. What is it about his system that just works? Yeah, I mean, he's true to what he does. I mean, you know, he's done that at every level, and he's done it well. Um, he's, I think the difference now is that he's got elite athletes doing it. You know, I mean, it's nice to be able to come into a, a, a program with a, with a Quinterly. I mean, uh, you know, and you put that on the front of that, and it turns into an elite de defense. Um, but he does a great job. He's a really good coach, and, um, you know, he's been really consistent. How difficult are these back-to-backs on the road? West Virginia is about to do one. You guys just experienced it. I know every team does it, but, but how challenging yeah. is it? You know, it, I don't even think it matters that it's back-to-back. -back. Just on the road in the Big 12 is tough. Like, we haven't had very much success at all, and, and that's really frustrating for us. But, um, you know, we were at least fortunate enough that it was Saturday, Tuesday. So um, we just came straight um, to hear from Cincy and, and, and tried to do the best we could with that because we didn't, weren't going to miss a lot of class time. Um, but I think just playing on the road in general in the Big 12 is really difficult. Your thoughts on Jordan's play tonight? It seemed like she was solid in, in the post and it gave you guys a little something. Yeah, I thought Jordan Merritt um, came out um, with the right frame of mind. I thought she attacked well. She was really aggressive on the boards. Um, you know, she's undersized to be playing where we're at. We're, we're you know, shorthanded. We were shorthanded even again tonight, and in, in particularly with some size. And so she's having to play against 6'3", six, 6'4", six, in, inside. And um, that's not really where we want to naturally play her. But I thought she was really good um, overall. I thought her stat line was fantastic. Fantastic. We just needed to give her some help. Coach, 21 of 56 from the field. Can you accredit a lot of that to WVU's defense? Or do you guys uh, as a whole feel like a lot was left out on the floor as far as running offensive sets and, and the shots you took? Uh, I mean, clearly their defense um, leads to a lot of that. I think it, makes, I think it speeds you up. Um, I think it makes you take some rush shots at times. But you guys watched the game. I mean, we had multiple layups that we just smoked, you know, and, and, um, and that's – that's nothing except what's between our ears. So we've, we've got to do a better job mentally um, to finish, you know, at the end of that. Because getting the shot's the hard part, you know. To me, the finishing, it's the easy part, and we didn't finish shots. Anything else? All right, thanks. Thank, Thank you, guys.